And I'm gonna try and put um, those activities towards the front of the day, towards the front of the week, so that if I do get distracted, not that that ever happens to me. <laughs> This is Leonard with Indie Band Coach, and I wanted to come on and just share um, a quick tip that is, you know, helping me organize my day. Um, you know, obviously it's a new decade, it's a new year, and, you know, everyone is talking about goal setting and things like that, which is very important and something that I'm also focused on as well. Um, but even getting down to a more a specific level than that um, is looking at my daily tasks, my daily activities and things like that. And so what I wanted to share was um, just basically like a three tiered way um, that I'm looking at my tasks. And basically I'm looking at each of my activities in terms of how close they are to money. And it's not like, oh, I'm not thinking about anything else. It's like, yes, um, I've got these clients, these peers that I'm helping or, I'm, you know, these folks that have hired me to do this and that and the other. So I'm definitely still focused on, you know, bringing value and things like that. But then I'm also going to put an additional filter on how close these tasks are to the money. For example, if I'm doing something that is um, an exchange of time for money. So someone has hired me uh, to do a, a website for them and it's based on the hour or, you know, we've, they've put in the order and I know that if I work on this and I get this done by such and such date, or if I get it done uh, tomorrow, that this particular activity is going to be uh, produce money. So that is a money uh, making activity. And yes, even more specifically than that is if it's something that's per hour. Like if I do this, I'm gonna put this on a sheet and the hour that I spent there is gonna produce this amount of money. So it's a direct correlation and I'm gonna try and put um, those activities towards the front of the day towards the front of the week, so that if I do get distracted, not that that ever happens to me. <laughs> anyway, so that if I do get distracted, or if something else comes up, or if something else pops off that's more important or urgent, you know, I have a base of, okay, I know that I've got a little bit of slack because I've already got this done for the client, or I've already got, it, I've already got this done uh, for the week, and that that's gonna result in you know, payment, you know, at the end of the week or at the end of the cycle or whenever I send the invoice. Um, and that is another example. Um, if there's work that I've already done, and I don't know why this would be so difficult to do, but if there's work that's already been done and let's say I've, I've completed uh, the actual work or completed something, and all I have to do is send an invoice to actually get paid, you know, if I've got outstanding invoices that I haven't sent, that is probably the most direct example of, dude, send this email, <laughs> fill out the invoice and get paid, man, come on. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time, um, you know, doing things and doing activities and things like that, but if they're not um, actually helping um, provide value to your business, then it's gonna be hard for your business to provide value to your customers. So anyway, money making, and then there's also money maintenance. And money maintenance are things like, um, you know, I've, you know, got this contract that's an ongoing contract. And I know that during the course of this week or this month, I need to do X amount of activities or I need to schedule a meeting or things like that, that in general, I'm being paid for. Um, those are things that, you know, might not depend specifically on that specific day or that specific hour, but I know that um, I need to maintain uh, certain activities and a certain relationship or, you know, exceed customer expectations if, you know, really want to get down to it. Um, but those are money maintaining activities. It's like, okay, you're being paid on a regular basis. Uh, doesn't depend on the specific hour that you do, but you still want to make sure that you're maintaining that because if you get behind with that and you lose that customer, it takes a lot more to get a new customer than it does to maintain the ones that you've already got. So, money making, money maintaining, and then I like to call the next tier, the last tier, uh, future funds. And that is stuff like, you know, if I've got an email that someone's asking about, hey, is this band available for this date uh, to play our wedding? Okay, if I respond to that email, it's not necessarily going to result in money, but those inquiries, those leads, 
um, whether those leads are warm or hot, you know, those are going to uh, potentially set you up for future funds. And so I'll make sure that, you know, I'm responding to those. I'll make sure that, you know, those get worked into the course of a day. Um, so depending on how many you have of those versus the other two types, um, you can plan your day and your week um, based on what you actually want to do. And then this isn't really a tier, but, you know, there's future stuff like, you know what, I want to make sure that I'm producing content. I want to make sure that I am, you know, going live or producing video or making sure that, you know, I'm finishing my blog post. Things like that are more indirect, um, you know. Once you produce those, then you'll be able to try to monetize them. Uh, so just kind of a way to think about uh, stacking up your tasks during the course of a day, during the course of a week, during the course of a month, as you are putting on that additional filter of setting your goals. So um, I hope this has helped in some way. Um, it's it's helped me. And again, you know, this is something I normally would you know, like make some huge graphic and do some stuff. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to come on and uh, just share uh, these thoughts as I get them uh, because the worst thoughts and the worst ideas are the ones that no one ever hears. That's just my opinion. So money making, money maintenance, future funds. Um, think about how you can use that filter in terms of what you're doing uh, with your music career and uh, just think about how that might be able to um, help you whether you've got a day job or not or you know if your day job is something that you need to maintain obviously you want to make sure that uh, that is a top priority so don't be at work you know doing all this music stuff and get fired that'd be bad so that's all I got um, I'm here to help and I want you to work smarter so that you can gig harder and here's to an awesome 2020 all right Hey, and if you like the content in this video, um, please smash that like button and then also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we make new content um, to try and help you with your career. All right, this is Leonard with Any Band Coach.